an Arizona police officer is shielded from being sued for a shooting, uh, for shooting a woman on her front porch that was holding a knife. Supreme Court. Okay, first of all, at its, what was interesting about this ruling is they really didn't write. I mean, they, they, they gave us no information about why they ruled this way. It was a, just almost a, a non-opinion kind of deal where they just didn't even, there was no rationale. They didn't even sign it. Didn't even sign it. None <laughs> of the justice. And, and Sotomayor said, I've never seen anything like this. We have just granted immunity, or we've, we've, it, we, we've made immunity stronger for a police officer who shoots somebody as long as that police officer can say, it was reasonable from my eyes where I was standing. I felt like that person was either a harm to me or a harm to somebody that was close to them, and I had to use my best judgment. Well, okay, there there are a lot of facts there, and this tell us the facts of this of this case. It's it's remarkable. To well, me. The, well, this one, the woman was on her front porch. The police had been called. I guess there was a little bit of a disturbance, and she's holding a very large knife on her on her porch. However, according to all of the officers there, and there were three of them. She was calm, she was responsive, but they had asked her to drop the knife and, and she didn't. She was not pointing it at them, she was not threatening them with it. They were far enough, well, they claimed she was close enough that she could have engaged in a strike with it, but they also said she was very amiable. You know, she was not hostile towards them whatsoever. Three officers point their guns, one of them shoots mm. because she doesn't drop the knife. Luckily, this woman survived. And, and, and that's where the issue came in. She wasn't trying to get the officer fired. She was suing. This was a civil case. Mm. She, she wanted damages, which well, seems... she, she got damages. <clears throat> she got $150,000 in damages in the lower court, right? right? So it goes up to the appellate court. It goes up to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court rather, does, doesn't even pay lip service to the analysis here. Look, here's the point. Um, if you're an attorney representing this woman, there are several different things that, that are non-lethal that you can engage in before this. There are things like even beanbag guns that they have for hostage kind of situations where they shoot a beanbag, knock, you know, knock the perpetrator down. They're not really a threat. There are things, uh, tasers. There are all types of things that take place before you get to this point. The woman has a knife, okay? The woman standing next to her made no effort to get out of the way. I mean, she wasn't even, it's not as if she was being held hostage. Right. See, that's what, that, that's, the facts of this case don't add up. There was another woman on the porch with her, okay? The other woman could have jumped off the porch. The woman has a knife. If the woman with a knife follows, then you use lethal force. But the point is this. The point is the Supreme Court is so dang lazy on this that they're so afraid that they're going to somehow give the give the victim another chance to be able to protect their rights that they stay away from this case well and see what this does th this this gives immunity essentially to police officers all over this country that now they know not only are they not going to be punished by by their police force when they shoot and kill somebody or shoot somebody and just injure them and they don't die which is over two thousand of those per year but now they know guess what i'm not going to be sued for this as long as I say this was reasonable, I'm good to go. Yeah. I might be on desk duty for a week, yeah. but that's I, about it. I might it. be a dummy, but through my dummy eyes, I was looking at the situation and I thought I was at risk.